The Skarloey Railway is a smaller railway that runs through the hills of Sodor. It's run by two engines, Skarloey and Reneus, who have run the line since the very beginning of railways on Sodor. But in recent years, the workload had grown too much for the two engines to handle on their own. Their old frames and old wheels weren't enough to keep up with the demand. So eventually, Sir Topham Hatt had to buy a new engine. It was a fine August morning, as Sir Topham Hatt had come down to the sheds to make an announcement. It is beyond clear to me that two engines cannot run this whole line by themselves. So I have ordered a new goods engine from an old friend. Meet Duncan. He used to work at an old lead mine. Now he is one of ours. I do hope you both will treat him well and teach him how to run the line correctly. He will be handling most of the quarry deliveries as you two handle passenger runs. Now I will be the first to admit he doesn't have the best track record. Go, Duncan. I hope you will make me proud with your work ethic. Duncan's face quickly lit up. Yes, sir. I will, sir. That is what I'd like to hear. Now I have many other matters to attend to. So good day to you all. As the fat controller left, Duncan smiled quickly fell. So you are the new engine, correct? Correct, yes. I've got a train to get to, so don't get in my way all that. Good day to you all, Duncan said rudely, as he quickly puffed off to the quarry. <laughs> Could you believe the nerve of that engine, Skylowy? We were all that way once, Freneas. But if he wants to work on the fat controller's railway, he will definitely pipe that kind of actions up soon. We all learn our own ways and he'll learn his. Unfortunately for Scarlo and Reneus, if there was a competition between common sense, Duncan would come dead last. He rode roughly on the rails with all of his trains. Rock and roll, he called it. And although he got his trains done fast, the way he got it done troubled both Scarlo and Reneus. Talking didn't seem to help them either. Duncan was just too ignorant to listen. Now you listen, Duncan. You better pack in your rock and roll nonsense before it causes a serious accident. <sighs> I was brought on because you couldn't handle it yourselves. Because you're too slow and too weak. I'm strong, I'm fast, and I'll get my jobs done. I don't care how I get it done, I'll just get it done. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to sleep. Things didn't get much better either. About a week passed and Duncan was still up to his same mischief. He'll be better, you said. He'll learn his own way, you said. Well, that engine is learning nothing, Scalloway, and I have a right mind to go to the fat controller and have him removed. As much as I would want that, Renius, the fat controller's got much more puzzling things to deal with at the moment. Let's all on either to line. If Duncan's a problem, we will handle him ourselves. Well, at least I hope we will. I dread to think what he'd do if he had passengers. But that's a problem for tomorrow. At least he isn't talking about ghosts and ghouls and all that. that. I was just I joking, but he asked. Don't get the girls angry about. I'm really angry about it. I was just joking. This could not have been the only one I could have been assigned to. Why couldn't it be just somewhere up in the Midlands? Like Wales. The next day, nothing was better. Reneus had come down sick. Something feels wrong, driver. I don't think I can work like this. Well, whatever the problem is, you just won't steam properly, Reneus. Luckily for you, I found the head, and Duncan will be taking your train. Alright, alright. Wait a second, did you say Duncan? It was Duncan, and he was anything but careful with the coaches. He was already rocketing down the line when Reneus saw him. Took the coaches for a great ride. But fortunately, it was a rocky ride too. Rock and roll! He would yell. The passengers were very much annoyed by Duncan's recklessness, so he had to slow down, but he'd end up speeding up again. It was a constant cycle all the way to the top station. Later that evening, on Duncan's last empty train, Scarlowy was talking to him. It's best not to go thus fast. You understand? Yeah, I understand. 
I understand that a bunch of old engines think I can't do my job properly. I do all my jobs perfectly on my old line. And you know what? I didn't need any help then, and I don't need any help now. Good day, good night. But they had a me off, oh, off, off rudely. The board engine's going to get himself in trouble. I know it. He indeed was trouble. He was already pulling the coaches at his top speed, rocketing down the line. <laughs> Look at me go! The coaches weren't fond of this. He was shaking violently and they hated it. Do oh, slow down, Duncan. The coaches groaned. Slow down? No, that's not what I do. But it was best that he should have. Up ahead was a sharp turn, right above a massive drop. And at the speed Duncan was going, he would have flown straight off it. Oh, don't like the way I'm shaking. It'll be fine. But it wasn't fine. Duncan wasn't paying attention, and the sharp turn was right up ahead. And within a moment, he had left off the line, and was dangling over the edge dangerously. looked at his buffers in fear and hoped that someone, anyone, would come to help him. Luckily, Scarlo wasn't too far behind. He had already caught up. Dear goodness, Duncan, what happened? Just get me out of here. Scarlo coupled up to the back of the train and tried to pull it back. Oi, do mind yourself. There's an engine on the side of this train, you know. Goodness. Scarlowe tried to pull the train back, but it was too heavy for him to do alone. And suddenly, there was a jolt. Scarlowe quickly pulled the train back onto the rails. Hey, lead, Scarlowe. I saw you bloody do it. Duncan yelled. He was quickly pulled back onto the tracks. He was safe. Oh, oh, you're welcome, Duncan. Scholar replied tiredly. But for Duncan, things went over, oh, especially when the fact controller heard. Now listen here, Duncan. I don't care if you want to be a rock star or a pop star, or whatever star. My railway is not a roller coaster, so you better slow down when you're taking trucks, passengers, or whatever. Do I make myself clear? What did I say, Ronias? Anything would work itself out eventually. And look at that. But Renius was not listening. He promptly went straight to sleep. I told the fat controller, you should get another engine. You need a natural engine to sort these yards, so I'm not moseying about with dirty, dirty trucks. Well, if he wants the railway to go into the ground, he's doing well at it. We did a real shunter to sort these lot out. And it's getting me all dirty too. Swear, I swear. God, I was right. But how could I? Have a strike me. Ah, who cares? I'll figure it out later. I just hope this shunter doesn't bugger off to a stupid branch line like the last two. <laughs> <laughs>